Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. This is Leela. We will try to see in this video about the HTML form elements like input, text area, select box, this. The HTML form elements in the React JS works little bit different from other DOM elements. So, for example, if you have the normal HTML elements, right? So, it will uh, these React JS elements will work little bit different. So, commonly, <coughs> what we'll try, right? What we'll try to have. So in the HTML, we will be having that form and we will be having input area. So what are that input text area? We will be having that one. So each input and text area will be will be having their own data, right? They will be maintaining their own state. So whenever you try to so click on the button, automatically the data, whatever it is present, it will be submitted to the server automatically. But here we are not having the HTML. So as I already told you, we are having the JSX element, the JSX representation. So now uh, commonly what we will try to do in the single page application or in the JavaScript application, what will do? we will be having on submit function for the form event and for each input element we will be, will be taking the data, right? So but here commonly in, uh, normally in the React JS, so we are maintaining the data using the state variable. We try to see here that the data, whatever the data necessary for this component, we are, we are, we are storing it in the state. The same scenario, the input also all the input data and all those things also should be handled with the state the state thing so this type of maintaining this technique is called as a controlled components so this this type of technique is called a controlled components normally what we'll try to do is so the comp the component the whatever the input elements and all those things we are having the data is maintained by the state okay so the main uh, it is maintained by the their own state and updated based on the react mutable state so that means whenever the state is updated so whenever whenever we are updating means we need to update the state so that is the using the set state so this is how we will be maintaining the in the react js that is nothing but a control components so there is another another way also for representing this one uncold uncontrolled components first in this video we will try to see about the control components so what i will try to do is here i will try to create a component add post okay let's try to create a folder add post so in this add post what i will try to have is i will create a new file add post.js so i created a new file so here i am writing add control add post extends component so component should be imported from the react so here we need to have a render method we will be having a render method and here we need to return view okay so i am having a form First, let's try to do, uh, write one normal HTML. So I'll be having div. So here I'll be having the label. So here I'll be having class name is equal to block level element. Okay, this is the title. That's it. So we can maintain like this. And here I'll be having input type is equal to text. I can maintain like this. So for this one, I'll main I will have uh, block level element. So it should be a one by fourth of width, and I can write a border. So border color should be of. So as this is a tailwind, we are using tailwind. We are not using bootstrap. So for that is the reason we are adding all those things. So now if you want to remove, so focus, we can remove outline. Sorry, outline of none. We can remove the focus. The focus outline we can remove it. So sorry, we need to keep it here the yeah so we can add a focus if you want to have the focus uh, border hyphen red hyphen and also we can give so this is all uh, comes under the css so i am not uh, dealing more on to this one so now i can have another div something like this so i can maintain the description okay so i can have the description so i can have another one something like status okay select box these are the three different types how the react js uh, behaves here let's try to see so normally text area we will be having text area okay this is the text area here i can have select box okay so select box i'm having here i can have option value is equal to what i can say active so i can maintain this one as an active we can write this one as active and here another one i can maintain this one as inactive 
okay so let's try to see this one so these are the select so i can copy the same class names what are the class names we are having here i can paste it here into this one and also i can paste it here this one here i can maintain something like px-5 and py-1 okay so hyphen 5 will be more now i one and also i can maintain this one okay so these are this is the things so, and, and i can have another one is the div and here what i can do is so in this div what i can do is i can add a button so now button add post something like this i can have so here we can write type is equal to submit and class is equal to uh, sorry uh, bg hyphen indigo hyphen or something like this we can maintain this one class name okay text hyphen white i can maintain text white and also i can give px hyphen 5 and also py hyphen 2 the thing i we can have it and let's try to see the output so if you want to see the output what i need to do the post.js let's add the add post here here in the add post we can directly add export default add post okay so now here in the export default add post we have added and here we can go and in this render method that below get post so here i can add add post right so oh, this one i can keep it as my fun 5 or something like this i can keep so now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output here i am able to see the thing right so now if we go here and if i write hopefully everything is removed so now what we'll try to do is why it is in red color let's try to see okay everything is fine so from where we are using class instead of class name now if i go to here let's try to see here we are using we are using nothing so now here what i can do is border hyphen gray hyphen 600 it's fine so why it is coming focus okay 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 we have given the gap here we should not give gap that is the reason we are getting yeah. fine right so now what i can do is so here for for this one also we can keep my hyphen 3 so why because so they, they all those are attached all the elements are attached so that is the reason and we can have it here and we can have it here also now let's try to see the output so hopefully everything is fine if i click here so it is coming right so this is the thing how we can maintain now here so we as equal to here no results maybe I think here it is happening. Also, it's not. Only if we refresh this one, it will go away. I think. Yeah, it's went away. So now we have clear. We have designed the add post form. So if we go to the add post here, if we add H two, can add add post. Okay. So add post also we can do it. So class is equal to text hyphen to Excel font hyphen bold. We can write it and if I try to refresh, so we am able to see the so this one. So now this is the form we have designed. Okay, in React JS. Now what I need to do is so in order to submit this form, what I need to do so here in the React JS on submit. Okay, on submit is equal to this dot add post handler i can go to this dot add post handler so here we can write here directly this dot add post handler is equal to so this is the method okay you will be getting the data okay what uh, not data so you'll be having the submit and now in order to get these values what we need to do is so in order to become this component as a control components we have to maintain the state for this one okay so state is nothing but what it will try to do is in this state you will be having the title of type empty and description of type empty and also the status of type empty okay so these are the three things status state 
so now here in the input what we need to do is so here we will be having value is equal to this dot state dot title so this will reflect in this one and for the text area so the j6 in the text area normally in html elements in between this text area you will be having the data but in the jsx you will be not having like this so you need to remember so you need to keep it as value is equal to this dot state dot description okay now here what we need to do is in the same scenario for the select box also you will be having this one as a selected right so which one is having you need to keep it as selected but here we can mention like this. we need to mention like this active okay basically the uh, default one what i will try to is i will try to add the active here if you try to see the output see if you try to see the output you will be able to you will be able to see the output without any problem okay so now what you what it is throwing so now if you try to see it is throwing an error that you provided a value prop to your form field without on change handler so now if i try to write any data here so i will not able to write anything so why because so this value is bind to the the value of this input element is bind to the state so that the state of title is always empty so that is the reason it is not able to we are not able to write so if i write something here and if i try to see output so we are able to see the dsds but i can't able to modify this one will become a read only so now if i want to change this one so if i try to remove this one also i am unable to remove so what we need to do is in order to do this one so we need to apply the on change on change is equal to so we need to add this dot text handler sorry this dot text handler text change or otherwise dot text change dot bind of this comma i can take the title okay so now what i can do is so in the same scenario i am taking the name of this input box so that i can have one method for each one so i can do this one also for this one description okay so now i can take this one also for the select box element also so i can write like this so this one is in status okay let's think so now if i want to write this one so what i need to do i need to take this one here i need to write text change is equal to i can write directly here what i can write is here i will be getting the uh, title or otherwise something like this and e you will be getting and here you need to change you need to write using this dot set state sorry this dot set state of so you need to take the title so title is nothing but the key what we are providing so we are ge getting that one and here you need to write e dot target dot value so each time you are getting the value of this one so now if i try to refresh this page what will happen see the errors will go away so the errors has been gone away so now if i try to write so everything is writable so now everything data whatever the data we are writing we are able to store it in the state so we are updating the state using this on change operator so whenever the user types in this data we are indirectly what we are doing we are doing nothing we are handling we are triggering the event so we are storing the data in the state so now if i if i click on this on submit okay add post handler you will be getting the e and here you can directly write e e dot prevent default okay e dot prevent default and you can console dot log this dot state directly so the state already will be updated why because for every on change for every input event on change event we are updating the state automatically so here if you see here i have updated i maintained it's active and if i click on add post you are able to get the data description status and data whatever the data i have written here i am able to get the data okay so this is how we will be maintaining the forms in the react js so all the all the react js forms how we are maintaining is through the this method is called as controlled components so if you want uh, so for what what we can say is if you want to do so for every element i need to write the on change event this could be a tds job for us means so we can maintain we can do it using the uncontrolled components later on we'll so we'll see about this uncontrolled components how we can do this one so if you open this react js in the forms concept so here list and keys we have seen right in the forms concept you will be able to see controlled components so this is the controlled components how we will be maintaining for each one so we will be maintaining the control components so if you don't want means alternative control components is nothing but the uncontrolled components if you try to see uncontrolled components okay so this is the control components so how we will be maintaining the data using the on change event for every for every changing we are maintaining we are we are updating the state for every element change okay
you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front end development courses thank you